Hello everyone, I'm Alec from AJ Farms and welcome to the official start of the 2017 growing season. Today I just started a few things that needed about 8 to 10 weeks before the last frost date that I will be putting outside. These things I'm more growing for me personally, not really the produce stand that I'm planning for later in the summer. So I just have one cup or pot of each. And the things I'll be starting in about two weeks, so six to eight weeks before the last frost, I'll have a few more of each variety. But I'll show you what I've started so far. So these are the seeds that I used. I have some sweet Spanish yellow Utah jumbo onions, and that is a mouthful. I have some Black Beauty eggplants. It's gonna be fun. I've never grown eggplants before, so actually I don't think I've ever grown anything that I have here today before, so it's a lot of new firsts. I have two different varieties of MOA Scotch Bonnets. I've got a Bahamian Beast. It's the first generation, so I'm gonna definitely grow that out and see what happens. I got Scotch Brain 7-Pot Phenotype. The yellow Carolina Reaper, and the peach scotch bonnet. All of my pepper seeds are actually from whitehotpeppers.com. I'm not sponsored by them, but they have some pretty cool varieties, so definitely go check them out. And all of my seeds, I've actually already planted them. They're in their containers, and they're labeled. I put four seeds each, which is probably a little bit overkill, but that way I'm guaranteed to plant. You always want to start more than one seed, so that way you'll definitely get one. And the reason I decided to go with cups instead of grow trays or anything like that, for me, it's easier to start them in cups because once they're in the cup, you can maybe take one or two of them out. But if you decide to keep them in for a while, you already have them in a large container that they can stay in for a good few weeks instead of trying to constantly transplant them over and over again and having all these containers everywhere. I don't have space for that, so I have cups. And... I just labeled each of my cups with the type of plant that it is, the type, like the, uh, like with the peppers, it's a pepper, what type of pepper, and then the date that I started it, so that way I'll know when I started it, how long it took to come up, and, yeah, how long it took to grow, and things like that. But yes, these are all my things that I've started. I have eight different containers, I started eight different types of seeds, and I'm definitely excited to get them in their growing container, so... I will join you again once they're in there, once they are in the grow tent. Hi everybody, we're back at the grow tent, which is actually a 30 gallon plastic container lined with aluminum foil. I do plan on getting a legitimate grow tent right now, but I just don't have the space for it. But as you can see, the containers, or my cups with the seeds in them, are all placed nicely in their home, and they'll stay in here for a few weeks until it's no longer cold outside. I also have a few other things that I've already started, like my Bahamian goat right there. It sprouted, today's the fourth, it actually sprouted two days ago. I wanted to keep it from getting leggy, so I tried putting it under the light to see if that helps. I also have some lettuce over here. It's a variety pack. It's like five different types of lettuce in there, so I'm not quite sure which ones those are, but I'm sure they'll be delicious. They're getting a little bit leggy in the other area that I had them in, so I decided to move them in here hoping that might help a little bit and they might stand up a little more. I also have a sugarish peach in there, one that I've topped, one that I have yet to do so too. And I'm hoping, as a little experiment, to see if the aluminum foil will reflect enough light to keep it growing nice and strong and keep it from getting any more leggy than it already is. But uh, one thing that I forgot to mention earlier was the type of seed starting mix that I used. It's by Jiffy. Again, not sponsored, it's just what I found at Lowe's. Um, it's a mixture of sphagnum moss, vermiculite for drainage and moisture retention, uh, cocoa quair, or quair pith is what it said, not sure if there's a big difference between those two, and a bit of lime for pH balance. Now peppers and eggplants and potentially onions, I'm not sure about the onions, prefer a bit more acidic soil than basic soil, and lime raises the pH to make it a bit more basic, so I might have to counterbalance that. I'll see how the plants do. Because I don't actually have a soil testing kit, so we'll see what happens, but for now it should be okay. But this mix also does not really contain any nutrients for the plants, so once they sprout I will have to pretty much immediately start fertilizing them to keep them healthy and keep them growing, which is fine. But you also want to make sure you don't want to over-fertilize them because it will burn the roots, especially because they're so young and tender. 
and potentially burn the plant itself if the fertilizer touches it, if it's a like a synthetic pellet fertilizer. So if you're using fertilizers in the same if you're using fertilizers like that, definitely be careful. But I just wanted to let you guys know the update. This is the first update for the 2017 garden, and I hope you stick around to see what happens and what we're growing. Thanks for watching.